going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about PlayStation 5. Something that I've been talking about for about the last year. I've had this nagging suspicion that the PlayStation 5 was going to be released in 2018. And many of you guys will recall, Many you can go back to some of my other videos about it, and there's been many, many people with disagreeing opinions on this. And lots of people shouted me down and called me crazy, but to industry insiders, it looks like I may have been right. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation 5 will be released in the second half of 2018. More than 10 teraflops of computing power. PlayStation has had a load of success with the PS4, as it has sold more than double as compared to the Xbox, and is the number one console on the market as of right now, with more than 40 million units sold worldwide, not to mention the more powerful PS4 Pro. Can you expect a PlayStation 5? Macquarie research analyst Damien Thong claims that there will be a PlayStation 5 coming out in the second half of 2018. Quote, we see sustained growth profit in game and network services. We forecast OP growth driven by expanding software sales and profits. A rising digital ratio and a high mix of first party titles will help margins. Horizon Zero Dawn, which launched on February 28th, looks to have had a good start with a Metacritic score of 88. While we have tempered expectations to account for rivalry with Microsoft, Xbox, and PC gaming, we note that the success of the PlayStation VR, which has reached 915,000 units sold, highlights the health of the ecosystem. We expect Sony to launch a 10 teraflop PS5 in the second half of 2018 to secure the installed base." End quote. While this would make sense, you should take this information regarding the PS5 with a grain of salt. As all this may seem possible in theory, it could turn out to be the opposite in practice. It is still interesting to know what Sony will have to do in order to double their profit in the coming years. PlayStation 5 could be one way of doing it, but the same can be done in other ways as well. With Project Scorpio coming out this year, it will be interesting to see what PlayStation 5 will improve upon the 4K gaming console. Listen guys, I think that this is definitely going to happen now. Uh, reputable analysts are talking like this. This is the only way that Sony can hold on to the market share. Sony right now is killing it. They pretty much own the world of console gaming. Xbox is in a distant second. And Nintendo, who knows what's going to happen with the Nintendo Switch. But when we're talking hardcore home console gaming, PlayStation is definitely the winner. And with the Xbox Scorpio coming out at the end of the year, uh, there's a lot of people who are going to be really excited about getting their hands on the latest kit, the console with the most teraflops, the most power, the, the console is going to be able to run games in native 4K, no checkerboarding, supposedly, uh, at 60 frames per second. All that stuff sounds super interesting and exciting. So my thinking is this. Before the Xbox Scorpio launches, maybe around PlayStation Experience 2017, Sony is going to do just a quick teaser that says PlayStation 5, 10 teraflops, 2018, and that's all they're going to do. That will be enough to curb lots of people who are excited about the latest kit or the most powerful hardware from buying the Xbox Scorpio, keeping people in tune with the PlayStation ecosystem. I'm willing to wager everything on this. I really believe wholeheartedly that this is Sony's only option at this point. Because when the Xbox Scorpio finally does drop, it'll definitely be more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, and it'll be able to do more. And Sony needs to kind of stay ahead of the curve. They need to constantly be attacking the competition with better hardware, better games. I think they're destroying all competition when it comes to exclusives and games. But they also need to be ahead of the curve when it comes to the hardware. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Beastly was right? Do you think we could possibly see the PlayStation 5 in 2018? Or do you think that this is all just a bunch of fluff? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,